Which phone has the best camera? Is it the Pixel 7 Pro, the S22 Ultra, or the iPhone 14 Pro Max? Today, we're comparing all three phones from photo to cinematic video, and hopefully answering the question of which camera wins in each category. Play along with me as we score them as we go, and to be sure there is no bias to either phone, when I came back to the studio, I reviewed the photos and footage without knowing which camera was being used. So comment down below with which phone you think will win each test, and let me know if you're right or wrong. So, let's start off with the staple of these lenses to start with. First, portrait photos. Firstly, with the regular mode. Secondly, with the actual portrait mode. These are all shot using the 1X lens on all three cameras and without portrait mode. And the iPhone came out warmer than the other two, and I actually realized I had the vivid color settings set here so forgive me for that the pixel if you zoom in is actually kind of blurry and the s22 is actually probably the best balanced photo here so first round goes to the s22 ultra next let's look at the one times portrait mode now and see if we can really see some differences i'm going to be looking for a natural roll off from front to the back with the blurriness which you get with more professional cameras and the pixel is just blurry everywhere. The S22 I think has the nicer and better image quality, but the iPhone does have a better roll off with the blur. I mean, like the pixels also blurred out my ears, whereas the iPhone and the S22 have done a pretty similar, but much better job. So I'm gonna give this round as a draw actually to the iPhone and the S22 Ultra. 3X portraits now, and here's Chris. The pixel again has actually really surprisingly done quite a bad job here. Everything is just pixelated. Edge detection around the face, again, pretty poor, but over on the iPhone and the S22 Ultra, edge detection is pretty great. I think it really does come down to personal preference here with these images. So for this round, I'm gonna tie the S22 Ultra and the iPhone 14 once again. Let's take a look at some video now, and I'm not sure if this is gonna work very well, but let's just see how it comes off. All right, this is testing the audio and the focus tracking on the S22 Ultra with its 20 times zoom, I think it is on there, but also switching between the lenses and seeing how well it looks. Ooh. So first, let's start with the S22 Ultra, and it's looking very pixelated to start with due to that 20 times zoom. Audio quality is okay, and there are some strange things happening as you zoom between the lenses, including this one part towards the end where it feels like it jumps a lot. Can you actually see that? Switching to the iPhone now. Right, this is testing the audio and the focus tracking on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and also just changing between the lenses and seeing how well it looks. Ooh. This definitely has a much smoother zoom. You can still see when it switches lenses, but there's no major like changes between lenses and the color and, and the audio is also good. A bit difficult to compare with the S22 Ultra because of course I was running, but it's still very, very good. Over to the Pixel now. This is testing the focus tracking and the audio on the Pixel 7 Pro and zooming between all the lenses to see how well it does. There was definitely more background noise in the Pixel's audio and you could still see some noticeable jumps when changing lenses, like the color shift of the grass particularly shifted between the middle of that clip. And if I compare a still from all three of these videos side by side, the iPhone definitely looks like a better quality with more detail and just better exposed overall. So for this round, a point to the iPhone. And just for clarity here, this footage and all the video footage shot here on the iPhone hasn't even been shot in their ProRes RAW format since those file sizes just get gigantic. Slow motion now, and here is the same clip from all three phones. With the S22 Ultra, you can see straight away it is a much, much lower resolution. And if you look at the grass, there's much less definition here. Again, the iPhone seems to have a better balance for exposure and the detail here. And if you look at the trees in the background on the Pixel, there's not as much definition as the iPhone. So I'm gonna give this round to the iPhone. I will say here though that there are noticeable improvements in the slow-mo cameras across all three here, and it's nice to see their progression over time. And as you can see, the quality really drops with slow motion on all three cameras, but it's far, far better than when we ran the same test last year. Stabilization now. Here are the three clips of Chris trying to keep up with me. And the iPhone is by far the most stable with its new action mode, and yeah, that's for sure. There is noticeable camera wobble and stuttering in the S22 Ultra's footage, but the Pixel is a very, very close second here. Now we decide to run this one again from the side just to compare and it is a similar result the s22 is good but there is a noticeable shape to the camera and the iphone and pixel are oh so very close again it is really really close here but i think the iphone just takes the win in this round for me with the it's just a slightly better image quality which i think is simply because the iphone shoots at 2.8k resolution compared to the pixel which reduces to 1080p when using active stabilization for the camera with the best zoom you would think it would be a runaway win for the S22 since it has the 10x telephoto and the 100 times optical zoom, but let's just compare anyway to see what happens. Now here are the shots from the 5x on the Pixel, the 3x on the iPhone versus the 10x on the S22 Ultra, and here are the zoomed in shots 
parts which are cropped to look the same. And yeah, the S22 Ultra still gets the win here in this round if you're looking for detail even at the extreme ends of the zoom. And then I think the Pixel and then the iPhone. Though I will say the Pixel has impressed me with many other zoom shots that I've taken when you're not really pushing it right to the furthest point like we are here. But yeah, even all of Google and Apple's AI processing is no match for a true optical zoom lens like the S22 Ultras. Moving indoors now. Now these shots were taken inside a cathedral where there's not much light and looking out through this beautiful stained glass window and you can quickly see some differences here in the shots. The Pixel is by far my favourite. It does make the colours pop just whereas the iPhone is pretty washed out. The S22 Ultra gets kind of close but the Pixel takes it for me on this one. Let's do some low light video now and here we have Chris walking through the cathedral and I'd still say there is a fair amount of light here. It's not like we're you know, shooting in the dark and the S22 Ultra's image quality simply just it just falls apart. It just loses all definition here and as we round the corner here and look up at the big window both the Pixel and iPhone do a really great job at balancing the bright and the dark areas but I would say that as we focus down to Chris again you can see the pixel boosting the brightness by like adding one notch each time compared to the iPhone which does seem a lot smoother and a lot more natural again I think it's really close here between those two phones but it's the iPhone for me with being a lot more natural cinematic video now and first we have the pixel and I am so confused over what's going on here the background is blurry on the sides and then I'm in focus kind of and then everything directly behind me is blurry it just looks really strange. Like, edge detection is all a bit all over the place. Now this looks nice as I'm going up the stairs, though if you do look around the edges of me, I'm looking pretty awful. Let's do the iPhone now, and this feels a lot more natural. There's less blur going on, yes, and the edge detection seems to be so, so much better. Again, it's a noticeable improvement on last year's comparison, and I would say that this is pretty good, except for some minor issues around the hairline. And finally, the S22 Ultra. Again, this phone seems to have a strange idea of what should be blurry and what's not. But at the top of the stairs here, at least everything looks kind of normal. Far better than the Pixel 7 Pros, but it is still not as clean as the iPhone. So in this round, I'm gonna give the win here to the iPhone with the S22 Ultra next and then the Pixel. I'm kind of sorry, but it's not good at all for the Pixel. Next up is food. And I know a lot of people like to take photos of their food, really. I don't do this. So here is my attempt of a picture of a glorious bacon roll I had over the weekend. Now the Pixel by default has just gone into this blur mode. And I'm, I'm not a fan since half the roll is actually blurred out. And if you zoom in on the buns, you can see the iPhone has a little bit more detail than the S22 Ultra. So point to the iPhone for this one. And if you thought my bacon roll was awful, then a subscribe to the channel would be delicious. Night photography. Here is a shot of the tennis courts outside of my gym. And the iPhone you can probably see is probably the worst in terms of the glare and the reflections we're getting from those lights. But if we zoom in a little bit to the tree on the left hand side, the S22 just doesn't have the detail compared to the Pixel and the iPhone actually. And if you look through the window on the right, there is a you know night and day difference between the S22 and both of the other phones. So this round is actually going to the Pixel for its excellent quality night photos. Now let's look at macro shots now. We have some very different photos here between the cameras. The iPhone actually had a better color to it, more reflecting the color of the actual leaf, if you can't tell what this actually is an image of yet. The S22 Ultra did an okay job, but you can see it's quite blurry around the edges. And the Pixel, surprisingly for me, is the best photo here, which I say is surprising because whilst taking the shots, it looked to me like the Pixel was going to be the worst, the absolute worst. So I can only assume that their AI processing has something to do with this image. It's you know sharp, it's clear, the detail is incredible. So a well-deserved point to the Pixel in this round. And I feel like I've said iPhone more than the others, so I'm assuming the iPhone must be winning this, but I'm not sure if the Pixel or the S22 came second place. What do you think?